All right. So we had some technical difficulties going on with the Xbox, but now we figured it out. I've turned uh, figured. Uh, ooh, ooh. Turns out it helps when you plug things in all the way. So, all right. Tonight we're playing a little bit of a, a Zach special, um, trying out something that I've wanted to try out, but I just haven't carved out the time for. Um, this is Boros Prowess um, in Pioneer, and I uh, I don't know. I'm I'm really curious to know if Clever Luminancer and Heartfire Emulator are enough to. It's going to turn on Wizard's Lightning, which I think is important, and I'm really wondering if it's enough to push us over the top because Clever Luminancer can, or Lumamancer can get in for a lot of damage. So I'm interested to see if it works. We still got tickets and points and stuff, right? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and jump in. Um, the other new card that we're playing is Rip Apart. And Rip Apart, I think, is a really good card. It's really versatile. Uh, versatile. Gives us a lot of play in a lot of different matchups. And it's also really sweet because it's a, re it's a removal spell. It picks apart artifacts or enchantments. Like, it's it's just good in a lot of matchups. Um, so, I mean, if we play against Auras, we should throttle Auras, if I'm going to be honest. Like, feels like it shouldn't even be a contest. I'm excited to try it. And see what this ends up looking like. Uh, oh. Alright, that's going to be dog water. Alright, I'm going to go fill up my water while we're waiting on this to find a match. So, I download those packs. The good thing is that those packs shouldn't take very long to download, so. Okay. Warzone, I mean, if it's giving you that option, it should work. I would think, anyway. Alright, let's find a match. In order to see if our deck is good or not, we have to be able to find a match. <laughs> Meant to be so perfectly how I wanted. Help. Get that, get that, get that. Boom. Alright, finding a match is going to be a tough one tonight, it appears. Nobody's playing Pioneer on, uh, on the old Tuesday night here. Well, we'll take another look at the deck here. Um... Really, like, the big ads um, to this deck are Clever Illumimancer and Rip Apart. I feel like both of those cards are are really aggressive and, like, really good. Rip Apart has a lot of versatility that I really like. And Clever Illumimancer is just, like, it's, it's just a really good card. Um, really, I, I just, like, I really like that card. Even if it never is good, I'm, I'm probably going to force it in a lot of things. Um, Heartfire Emulator gives us the advantage of being a wizard and also can be a removal spell in a pinch if we need it to be. So I'm excited to try this and see what it looks like. Hi and good luck. We're on the draw, which is a bummer, but that's okay. Our opponent is playing Gigantha. Um, barring we draw some spells, this hand is okay, but seeing as how they're on Gigantha, it means they're either on Spirits, or it means they're on, um, probably not, on, well, it means they're either on Spirits, or they're on Control, and if they're on Control, this hand's good, so, um, hmm, Gigantha's red or green, okay, interesting. 
Well, drawing a mountain wasn't exactly what we wanted, but that's okay. Probably in hindsight shouldn't have kept this hand, honestly. Like, this hand has... Hello and good luck to you, too. Oh, all right, sweet. Thanks, opponent. Um, I mean, this hand needs a little bit of help, but with some good draw steps, we could we could win with this hand. All right, opponent. It's not your turn, and you're tapped out. Please six. This isn't modern or legacy. Is this Niv? Oh, it's Niv. Um, we're going to attack. They're probably going to abrupt decay this or trophy it or something. They're willing to take one. I'm willing to let them take one. Play Heartfire Emulator in the next turn. We have Swiss Spear into Lightning Strike. Maybe they have a counter spell? Uh, I didn't think so. Put Overgrown Tomb into play. Okay. This definitely feels like Niv. Our opponent either six through their turn or doesn't have a land. Um, we're going to try and get in with everything here and then lightning strike them. Allows us to hit for three, five, seven. It allows us to hit for ten this turn. So, I mean, are you a fan of North Carolina? People ask me this religiously when I'm playing Magic. And, I mean, I guess I get why, like, the name implies that I'm a North Carolina fan. I mean, this could also just be like some like weird Sultai list. I don't, I don't know. Maybe Niv plays Basic Forest. I don't know. It feels like we're gonna want Roiling, vo <laughs> Roiling Vortex either way here. What? That's a little too cute. <laughs> it works. I did exclamation point, Joseph. <laughs> Wizard's Lightning was going to be a good draw off the top. All right. Um, so, feels like we want Roiling Vortex, and we want to get rid of Shock. Seems like our worst card. And, I mean, probably Wild Slash, if I had to guess. Everything else is either damage or uh, draws us cards. So, we want to keep everything else if we can. Um, we could bring in Rip Apart. It always makes me sad when people say, nice, did you go there? Because I wish I would have went to Carolina, but I didn't. And we could have brought in Rip Apart, but that seems a little too cute. <laughs> My command works too. I like these commands. They're just so goofy. So does it just jump you between the games if you do it that way? Like, did it automatically take you to, like, Cold War? Like, hmm. So I'm going to have to do that later. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, we're going to keep this and put Wizard's Lightning back. We want the Boros Charm to protect our creatures. Plus, Boros Charm is also the most reach here. Um, we're going to lead on Sacred Foundry uh, Luminancer here. Um, we want to be able to get in with haste threats later. Um, plus, they have to have double removal to keep our spells off, our creatures off the field. So, um, hopefully, they don't have like a three mana removal spell, like a th or a three mana sweeper. I mean, all right, swamp into plains definitely makes me feel a little like this is Niv. Um, we're gonna play crash through. 
We're always going to yield to this. Um, we're going to attack for two. Hopefully put our opponent to 18. They might have a push or something here. Dire Tactics, okay. Or no, that's not Dire Tactics. That's Vanishing Verse. Ooh, that's the new, like, like better Ultimate Price card. I really like that card. Looks good. So I guess the, the question we're going to leave ourselves with is, do we... Mm, we're definitely playing Swiss Spear into Vortex. Just kidding. I was going to say, do we hold up Boros Charm or Dome them for four here, but... We're definitely going to slam Vortex here and get in. Um, Vortex is a house. They can also just have another Vanishing Verse for our Vortex here, but... If they do that, they're taking four points here to do that, which... Like, it sucks for them to be able to get rid of my Vortex, but it's okay. So they do have another one, yeah. At least they had to take four to do it. Uh, extinction event is really bad here. All right, them having a tapped land is pretty good for us. Um, we're going to play a little bit of a patient game here, and we're going to hold on to our Boros Charm. We're just going to Wild Slash them here, depending on what they do. I mean, because this represents putting them to 10, so it's not like a crazy stretch to think about. I mean, like the aggressive play is to put them to 10 and then put them to 4, but I think we're playing it a little safe this way, and we get to hold up in case they have a sweeper of some kind. So Niv puts him to six. Yeah, I knew this was Niv. Puts Spellqueller into their hand. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and take the time to figure this out. Um, we need to draw a burn spell here. Uh, any spell does it here. That super does it. All right, we did it. Yay. I think this might be the first time I've ever beat Niv Delight on stream, if I'm being honest. It feels feels pretty pretty promising to, to beat this deck. I, I hate Niv Delight with everything inside of me. GG's, buddy. Um, so, yeah, that was a, was a pretty quick win. Good start to our league. Okay. Thanks, baby. Love you. I love you, too. Thanks for getting dinner. Is the game downloaded now? I'm going to look over and try to check on it and see what's going on. And if it's not, I'll start try to start downloading the packs. What does that say? It might not let you connect to the thing because the packs aren't downloaded. Like, honestly. Go to the... Hang on, hang on. Go to My Games and Apps. Um, go to... Oh, uh, man. No, go down. It's going to be under, like, full library or something like that, I think. Uh, what does it say on the right side? No, go down to updates then. What is, what's in the updates thing? Is it Halo? I don't know how to... I guess you can start clicking on those things because that's the five things that you need to download. Hang on. Let me see if it'll load my Call of Duty while we're sitting here. Hang on, chat. We're trying to... We, so, we tried to download Warzone on Carly on Carly's Xbox last night, and when we did, it just, like, 
I uninstalled um, Cold War and like a couple of other things, like weird things have been happening. So we're trying to figure out what's going on. If it won't let me into my Cold War, then we know that it's just it's just the game. Like they're probably they're maybe doing maintenance or something. You'd think they do that in the middle of the day instead of right now, but. Sorry, I'm loading my Cold War to see if it's working here. To get into the game, yeah. It normally is already like downloading the files and stuff by now. Here we go, it's connecting now. Does it ever get past the checking files stage? Mine's downloading the percentages, yeah. It let me in. Oh, so you're good now? Cool, that's awesome. Good, I'm glad. No, I don't have anything to be sorry for. I'm happy we got it fixed. All right. Call of Duty issues have been averted. Magic's back. We're 1-0. We're taking it to them. I'm using my random commands that I made because I think they're cool and I just learned about this the other day. We were meant to be, supposed to be what I wanted. <laughs> That's so funny. How do you get the lame one? Mine is weird. It doesn't even make sense. Do you want me to put that? Okay. For cows, we should have put that's fucking dumb. I mean, I can change it. it won't take just a minute. That is true. Yours is very. Oh, you do not screw up everything. Stop it. Okay. Oh, I gotta download that tonight. <laughs> the war zone? It shouldn't. That'd be ridiculous. If it does, then how do you ever get money in the lobby? Like in a lobby together to play? There's no way it should do that. Okay. Thanks for grabbing dinner. Oh, it's okay. I love you too, baby. All right. It's taking a decade to find matches tonight. So we're going to look at the list again, even though we've already done that. <laughs> um, I was debating if maybe like two of the mountains shouldn't be pathways um, to try and help with white on turn one. Um, but the problem that I feel like I'll run into is that you don't ever want a white source that doesn't also produce red. Also, it turns off, it takes away from chain to the rocks, which I'm not excited about. So I decided against it. Man, Rip Apart has such a cool art. That is such a cool art. I really like that. Oh my god, find us a game. Bro. Well. So, I was going to pull up Rocket League and say we could watch that, but they're they're playing a cinematic cut of this and I feel like it looks completely ridiculous. So, we're definitely going to watch it now. Like it's completely absurd. Oh, there's no volume because it's coming through the speakers instead of this. Off the crossbar, <laughs> they, you know, fortunately for Scrub, 
He was going at the perfect trajectory to carry that through. And you can see him trying to bait Ashley out, going for flicks, getting rebounds. Now Ashley tried to cut that around. We'll have an opportunity. I've always noticed that when I turn on something else to do or another stream or something, I always find a match. I'm just going to start doing that from now on. All right, we're on the draw again. That sucks, but... Hi, and good luck, opponent. Yes, reveal Luris. Um, so not only do we need to draw a land, we need to draw a white land. And basically the rest of our hand is unplayable without a white land. I don't know, that feels a little aggressive. Our opponent kept seven. I think I'm going to mulligan this hand. Um, I think this is a lot better. I think we'll put an emulator back. Having three one-drop creatures is really good. At least I think it is. Crash 3 provides more cards. Boros Charm is also really good at protecting the team. So It's really good at protecting the team slash... Like... I don't know. Like, just going upstairs. Um, I don't think this deck plays counter spells, but it could. Do that before we play on land. Let them know what's up. It's, your mo it's me, ya boy. Attack for three. Our opponent's at 16. Hopefully they don't have a deafening clarion here or an anger of the gods or something like that. They also need another red source, which doesn't seem that far fetched, honestly. Um, they don't have it, which is good for us. I also don't have a white source, so they can't play deafening clarion here either. In case they're still on that. Deals two damage to any target. Okay. Hmm. So we're going to start with Wild Slash, and then we're going to play... Oh, pulled everything away here. Wild Slash them. Oh, clicked off the screen. Going to light up the stage. Hopefully we don't land here. Oh, double Boros Charm. Okay, that's interesting. Um, they go to eight. Um, we do have eight points here. So there's that. All right, no red source. Interesting. I mean, I guess that is technically a red source, but... Um, we're going to lead on Crash Through. This feels like a Shark Typhoon. They only have five mana here, so... I'm definitely not going to play the Luminancer. Uh, Lumamancer, because we're just going to dome them with Boros Charm here. Um, they're going to block. If, I mean, if they counter it, they counter it. It's okay. It's still six points on board. They have to have a removal spell and a counter spell here if they're going to do something about it. So, which it appears they do. Grow Spiral? Going to put an instant into play or something crazy? I was like, put a like put a land into play and play an instant? And I'm in. Negate? Okay, it's interesting. So you take six, go to two. We have four points in our hand and two points on the board. So they have to either gain some life or kill both of our creatures. They have to have a sweeper and a counter spell here, which this feels like they're just playing the teamer control list or the teamer ramp, the teamer whatever it's called. We're actually going to look at the list after when we start sideboarding here just because I don't know a whole lot about what's in this deck. So Till two damage to this. Target player draws two cards and discards two cards, okay? So they get to kill our Swiss Spear, and they get to uh, Faithless with it. Alright. Wow, it's a lot of lands. This Anger of the Gods? Hmm, no, it's not Anger of the Gods. Interesting. Hmm. Well, we're going to play this. Um, we're going to attack, and then we're going to Boros Charm them, no matter... Even if they, they don't do anything, because that makes, both of, that makes both our spell and our creature lethal. Which means they have to have Negate and Magma Spray here. Okay, they had nothing. Cool, cool.
cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, so we're definitely bringing in Vortex here. I'm going to pull up this list because I don't, I don't know a lot about what our opponent's doing. If I'm being honest. Um, is this five color control? No, it's not. This is the. I saw this somewhere. It's not five color control though. I know that it's the teamer. Uh, it... aha, aha, this one. Okay, three gear Hulk, quicken and a braid, is it charm? Indomitable creativity. This controller reveals cards from the top of its library until that player plays. Okay, I mean, deals five damage to any target. Look at the top five cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, the rest on the bottom. Oh, you can discard that and create a treasure token. Okay, dig through time. So they have a lot of. They have a lot of, like, rampy kind of things. Magma Spray, Aether Gust, Anger of the Gods is in the side, and Ashandra. Okay. So, with all of that in mind, I still think we only want Vortexes. Everything else seems uh, a little too cute. Oh, yeah, we're, we're doing this again. Definitely seems a little too cute. Um, Wild Slash and Shock seem like our worst card. Um, we want things that grind. Uh, we want all of our creatures. Um, the other cards are more damage than Shock or Wild Slash, or they draw us cards. So we're going to keep them. Um, this hand feels okay because we're already playing into like Luris, so we'll try this and see what happens. Plus, cr Crash Through draws some more cards. So we'll see. we'll see what happens here. Catch your triumph. Not a land, please. Alright, well. Not exactly how we drew it up, but whatever. It is another white source, so at least if it was a land, it was not a mountain. Feels like a negate or an ether gust here. Um, we're going to attack, and then we're going to wizards lightning them, see what they do. So much for my happy ending. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh, grow spiral. Okay. If this resolves, they'll go to 13 here. Maybe they're going to shock in a magma spray, which also puts them at 13. But, I mean, the, the, the list that I saw was playing some number of magma sprays in the side. So, there is that. So much for my happy ending. Whoa. Whoa. Alright, they're going to kill our Soul Scar Mage and uh, Faithless Looting. Discard two Torrential Gear Hulks. Man, that is not a good draw. Um, so, I mean, we're going to keep adding stuff to the board. So they did play... No, they didn't play a land last turn because they put a land into play off of... Uh, off of Grow Spiral. Um, puts one card on top, which means I kept a land on top. Okay. Um, spell, please. Spell, please. Uh, bottom. We'd like to see what we can draw here. That's a good one. Um, Light up the stage. Um, we're going to play that tapped, and we're going to cast Roiling Vortex and say go. I don't think they're going to gain life this turn. I could be wrong. Um, they could be playing, like, something crazy. Like, I don't know, like, life goes on, or feed the clan, or something wild. I, who knows? Puts one card on top of their library again. Okay. Cloithus? Cloithus is indeed a good one, but it's also one we can play around. So, I'm not super worried about that. Um, Lightning Strike is pretty good. They go to six. 
Good luck. Amazing. Ha ha ha. Um, yeah, sure, buddy. Amazing. Whatever you say, pal. Um, your opponents can't gain life, and then you go to one. <laughs> yeah. Yams for breakfast. That's right. How was your parents, man? Did you have fun? Yeah, so I lose two life, and then they concede. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Well, we're 2-0 and with our... Boros prowessy thing um, looks pretty sweet. It's been it's been pretty good so far. We've played against Niv Delight and the new Teamer deck. I don't I don't know what to call it. I mean, I don't know. Deck looks cool. It's nothing I'd ever play, but you know, it looks interesting to say the least. Two and zero. Um, we're on the draw for the third time here, which kind of sucks. Uh, two matchups so far, and the only cards we've brought in have been, uh, the only cards we've brought in have been, uh, shoot. Uh, Rolling Vortex, that's what I'm looking for. Our opponent has no companion of mulligans. We have two threats, a uh, card that draws us card, and seven damage, so we're going to keep this. Our opponent keeps their six, plays Stomping Ground tapped, and says go. Okay, I'm interested by this. Um, gonna play. Definitely should have played the Soul Scar Mage there, because now if I'm gonna get in damage, I'm forced to attack. I'm forced to play a spell instead of playing both my creatures. And they shock in. Is this Naya Winota? This feels like Naya Winota. Um, we're gonna attack here. Yep. Domia. I mean, like, we just have to race and hope it's enough here. Like, like we don't really have a very, like, removal-heavy hand, so we kind of have to just, like, race our opponent here. Um, it's unfortunate, but our opponent having to shock there was pretty good for us. Hopefully they have to shock again. Nope, they're going to play a land tapped. Is that Kazandu Mammoth? Is that what that is? Attack for two. Serving it up, okay? Um... So I'm actually going to leave um, Luminancer back to block here. Which I don't I don't know if I entirely agree with my decision making here, but it's what we're doing nonetheless. Yeah, we're going to leave Luminancer back to block here. Um, land Winota sucks for us here, but it's fine. Like, it, it is what it is. There's not much we can do about it. Ooh. He seek his chariot. If you're attacking with one, I'm going to take it. We need a spell here, please. Opponent goes to seven, then they go to five, they take three, go to two, then we lose on the crackback if we attack all out here. Um, we actually have two instant speed spells, so we're just going to attack here and see what they do. They left them back. Obviously, they're going to block. Or maybe they make a mistake and don't block and we get away with a win here. Maybe they just block a couple of the creatures. Wow! Yes, we get to win. Cool. Right? Because they go to 7, they go to 5, they take 6 and die. Yep. Alright, cool. Sometimes you just get lucky like that. I mean, 
to be fair, like, we did put the game in a spot where they had to misplay. So, like, it's like, we did our part in doing that. We did everything we could there. Um, okay. So, in this matchup, we want Searing Blood. We want Chain to the Rocks. I don't know if we want Rip Apart here or not. I don't think we want Crash Through. I think that's our worst card. Um, probably get away with cutting Boros Charms too. And bring in Rip Aparts. Yeah, it seems good. We'll try it like that and see what happens. Um, I mean, uh, like, we could be bringing in too many cards here, but... Two of these cards, like, the two Ripper parts are extremely, like, like, they also deal with the Chariot, which is good. Um, Chain to the Rocks is just a great removal spell. And Searing Blood also doubles as a burn spell, so. I feel like we, we sideboard pretty well in this matchup. Um, we're going to mulligan this hand. This hand is Swassum. We're going to keep this and put a Chain to the Rocks back. Okay, interesting. So we're going to play the Mountain here. So that because they're going to play a creature on turn two. And when they do, we're going to Wild Slash it. And then we're going to get to untap and play Heartfire Immolator. Um, which feels pretty solid. So, we don't have many threats here to, like, clock them with, but... Oh, of course they have this. Those whores. Um, so, we're going to play Chain to the Rocks. We have Wild Slash in case they do something that we need to kill this turn. Hopefully they don't play like Thopter Engineer or something. I, I, that always happens to me. When I say, man, I hope they don't play this card, they always play that card. It, it's always what happens. Um, we can actually just play the Immolator and say go here. We don't need to kill anything that they've done so far yet. So, Plus that's a human, so even if they slam a Winota here, they don't get a trigger off of it. Zondu Mammoth, okay. Please attack. Uh, Wizard's Lightning, the Mammoth. Um, we're going to attack for two here and see what they do. Um, we're actually just going to let them take two here and then say go. Um, it's, it's the one thing about playing removal the deck against decks like this is kind of a problem. Attacking creatures you control have double strike. That's what that card does for a 2-3? That seems very underwhelming if I'm being honest. And yeah, I'm okay with taking one. I don't really care about that if I'm being honest with you. Um, we can play the Luminancer here, Lumamancer, and then we can say go. We have Lightning Strike to interact with, which is pretty solid. So, all right, they're gonna double spell here. Better they're gonna play Kenrith or whatever. Yeah, Kenrith. Good thing we have Chain to the Rocks, eh? Eh? Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery. So we're going to get Kenrith here. Our draws have been superb to this point. Um, we're going to go ahead and do this now because even if we do this with... Even if we wait and they block the Luminance, the Luminance they still get to...
block that way. Um, they take... Wow, they took quite a bit there. And they took six. Yeah. Um, and we have Searing Blood here as backup in case they do have something, so... Okay, take two. We're going to put Lurus into our hand. Uh, uh, it feels like we're in a decent spot this game, but we're going to prepare for the long game if we need to. They're just continuing to play lands and say go, which means this feels like this game's over. If I wanted to, I could... <laughs> Joseph's enjoying the commands. Just to start on Yams and Carly. If I wanted to, I could Searing Blood one of my creatures as as a trigger and try to do it that way, but I'm not I'm not gonna lie, like that does actually seem too cute. Like, we've got lethal on board, we have a quote unquote removal spell and a burn spell in our hand. We're just gonna wait and see what they do here. Archon of Amiria, okay. Thank you. So we're going to cast this. We're going to attack. And they're going to concede. All right. All right. I was literally about to give up and just like play arena for a few minutes. I'll give you moral support. Thanks, man. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm going no to be sack. quiet for a moment. Yeah, I'm going to be quiet for a moment because I'm going to eat my cheese cracker, so give me a minute. Okay, man. Um, this hand's pretty good. We have we have multiple cards that draws cards and two creatures, so we're going to keep this. Um, Gigantha probably means we're playing against uh, the same thing we played against earlier, Niv Delight. Um, which isn't a great matchup or anything, but it's fine. Yeah, feels like Niv Delight. <clears throat> We're just going to go ahead and shock here. Um, play Heartfire Emulator and attack for one. And the good news is that short of them having like a push or something here, we're going to be able to basically just like get in. Um, you okay? Are you okay? I just heard something drop. I was just worried. Is Carly okay? Yeah, Carly dropped something. She's fine, though. Alright. Wild slash them. Dreadboard was not good. I was kind of hoping our opponent would have to, like, um, Assassin's Trophy. Our creature or something. Um, finding another Heart Fire Emulator is pretty good. Um, we're getting in for quite a bit here. And most of our cards replace other cards, which is good. Our opponent's at 12. Um, we'd really like to draw a land here so that we can play Heartfire Emulator and a Lightning Strike. Um, if I have to pick, we'll probably play the Heartfire Emulator here just to have another threat on the on the field. Well, we did draw a land, unfortunately, but... I mean, no, unfortunately, we wanted a land, but we wanted it to be an untapped land there. Okay. I mean, that's not great, but it's fine. Um, now we're going to say go. We're going to play this and say go. <clears throat> Extinction event would be rough. Honestly, any spot removal spell would not be great here. Deputy of Detention. Okay, the good news is that Deputy of Detention doesn't really change anything for us. We can get that back with our Lightning Strike. Um, we're going to play Crash Through here and see what we draw. Another land is not very good. Um, that's our 6 land and 15 cards. Niv here is going to be a tough scene. Brain Delight's also going to be a tough scene. Like, yeah. I just... Get rid of Brain Delight, man. Like, that, that card just presents so many problems. Uh, 
Um, uh, we're going to take a draw step here, but this feels like we can just scoop them up here. All right, they don't get that, 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 that. So they get Deafening Clarion, and they get Cloythus. Okay? Okay, I'm with you. All right, welcome back. Thank you. All right, um, so we're going to have to be a pretty good draw step here. <sighs> Wizard's Lightning is not bad. Hmm, I wouldn't have thought it was you. Um, we're going to put Lyris into our hand here. We're going to attack and see what they do, actually. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to hit that for three. Um, I mean, the the unfortunate part here, oh, they don't have that overgrown tomb. They don't get those cards. Is that they get, is that they still get <sighs> Deafening Clarion and Cloythus here. And Cloythus is back breaking for us. Really interesting. Oh, it's the landfall one. I just assumed it was Golgari Queen. <clears throat> All right. So this feels like we're about to get dumpstered. <clears throat> So we're gonna have Clary on here. Yeah, we're just gonna concede. This game's over. Um, that's actually the first game we've lost all night with this deck, so that's kind of promising, honestly. So we'll bring in Roiling Vortex and we'll cut in wild two wild slashes and a shock, like we've done all night. Um, this is the second time we played against this deck, so. <clears throat> oh, some sweet tarts. I don't mind if I do. Huh? It's in the floor right there. I just set it there. Ah! I'm trying to get sweet tarts set up, but now I can't play magic. Sad face. <clears throat> you hate to see it. Carly's over here dropping food on herself. Did you get it? Um, I think we'll keep this. A land off the top really does us some good here. <laughs> uh. What? Oh, I see. Um, so we're going to play Swiss Spear here so that we can have access to... Wow. Highlight my message of yams. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping it would highlight that and the night bots. That would be cool. That would be funny. That would actually be pretty cool. So we're gonna lead on Swiss Spear instead of Clamber or instead of uh, instead of Clever Luma Lumamancer. Because if we don't draw a land it's bad news. <clears throat> so we're gonna attack. We're gonna light up the stage. Hopefully we get a land so that we can play our Lumamancer. Um, because if we don't hit a land off two cards here, game's probably close to over. We hit double land, which is sweet. We're gonna play Lumomancer, and then we have Mountain next turn for Soulscar Mage into Lightning Strike. Hit you for four. So, feels like we're setting up pretty good. Um, the only problem that we'll ha that we'll run into is that Anger of the Gods will wreck our souls. So... Rep decay, all right. So I'm actually just gonna play the Soul Scar Mage, attack for one, and then hold up Boros Charm, um, so that I can protect our creatures in case they have Anger of the Gods here, because <clears> them <throat> sweeping our board is really like how we lose this game. And if they don't do anything, we're just gonna Boros Charm them at the end of the turn. So Sylvan, hey, back real quick, what are we playing after you're done with that? Um, there's one more game after this one, um, but... What, are we playing Cold War or Rocket League? Um, let's play Cold War. Carly's playing Cold War, and we can play, and then... <clears throat> later we can play some... Rocket League. 
car soccer. Yep. Got you. So uh, we're gonna wild slash them. They go to nine, then they take six, go to three, and then we have two lethal spells in our hand, so we're gonna win this game. Um, or God only knows what's gonna happen that we're not gonna win this game. Are you done eating? Do you wanna join the party after that game? All right, yeah, our opponent concedes, cool. Um, so I think we're just gonna run it back. Um, we just We just need to draw well. Um, to, to have a chance in this matchup. This is not generally a good matchup. But I feel like our deck um, represents some resiliency here. So, Well, resili as resilient as it can be, anyway. Um, we're going to mulligan. Our only creature is, uh, is Clever Lumamancer, and we don't have a white source. Mulligan. Um, this hand's a lot better. We're going to keep this and put Crash Through on the bottom. And we're going to lead on Clever or Lumamancer because... <clears throat> I mean, there's lots of reasons, honestly, but we're going to lead on it because Swiss Spear has haste. Um... Um, I don't think I'm going to try to get cute here. I'm just going to play the Heartfire Emulator and say go. And then hopefully we have two draw steps at a, at a land here to be able to play to get in for a bunch here. Sylvan carry added. Okay. If our opponent doesn't have a land here, that'd be great for us. I mean, it wouldn't be great for us, but it'd be fine. It, I'd be okay with that. So, we're going to lead on Crash Through. Hopefully we draw a land here. Um, yield, yield, yield. Land, please. Land, please! Dang. Um, not drawing a land there is unfortunate. Not drawing a land is pretty unfortunate there, but it's setting us up to have a, a pretty good turn four. And we don't have a land in place, so they know they just get the block for free. And they're going to have Fatal Push here for our Heartfire Emulator. Yeah, that's, that's pretty disappointing. Housekeeping. Oh. Did you say housekeeping? Housekeeping. housekeeping. <laughs> Jesus. Carly just did it, too, as soon as I said that. Housekeeping? Kyle's just screaming housekeeping in my ear right now. No, no, no. No, no, no. What? No, no. Carly just screamed trust. <laughs> <laughs> Do I want the fast mag or the 100 round mag on the stoner? 100 round mag. Yeah, man, you never know when you're going to need 100 rounds. I mean, at least I think so. But when I do, man, well, I'm just between those two, right? Would I rather the fast mag or the 100 round? Mm hmm. You said Carl is joining us soon? Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> Wonder what cards they hit off of this. Um, a bunch of cards that screw me over. Woo! Excuse me. So our opponent takes four here and goes to 16, and then we are left with light up the stage. Hopefully into something good. Soulscar Mage on Boros Charm is pretty good. It allows us to protect. Woo! Allows us to protect against uh, against a Deafening Clarion they just put in their hand. So they bring to light Knight of Autumn. They can't put Valky into their hand. So they have six cards, and three of them are Bring to Light, Deafening Clarion, and Knight of Autumn, which I'll say 
get bent me. So this should be interesting. Get bent lol. Get bent, lol. Have you tried getting good? Yeah, I've been trying to get good all night. It's not working. Is it working? Not for me. Mm. You hate to see it. Yeah, I hate to see it. Oh god, Valky's so gay. <clears throat> I hate that card. Just wish they banned Brain Delight. Like, banning Brain Delight would like literally solve all of our problems. <clears throat> Do you think, Zach, I could build out a four or a five attachment M4 and it'd be broken? Um... Five attachment M4 and it'd be broken? I mean, not be Four broken. Or eight, bro eight, eight attachments. Eight attachments? I mean, yeah, it would probably be broken with eight attachments. The M4 is already insane as it is anyway. Hmm. I mean, you're allowed to be wrong. That's okay. Lol. Um, it feels like rolling Vortex is a little too late. Um, I'm going to be honest. I think we're going to lose just on the back of the fact that our cards are showing up too late here. And they have two really good cards in hand, so. Like, drawing an untapped land. What do they hit off of their Valky plus? Oh, they hit a Fatal Push. How convenient. All right, we're conceding here. This is terrible. We're just like that. That's not going to go well for us. Um, we lost to a hard matchup in three games. I mean, like that's pretty standard stuff. Um, the fact that we beat that matchup earlier was honestly like pretty rare. Uh, normally, don't really win that matchup. So, oh, ooh, Doomwake's playing. Doomwake is playing Burn. All right. Well, we're, while we're trying to find a match, we're gonna watch Doomwake play Burn. Fight against Karn because they get one coil engine. How many more games you got, Zach? Uh, one more game. Okay. One more game or one more match? One more match. Okay. Hey, Carly. I'm not in love with this hand. Hello. Literally pulled up another stream. Immediately found a match. God, I hate magic so much. Hey, Carly, you wanna invite me and carry me? <clears throat> I was looking at my classes and I accidentally joined another game, so <laughs> it'll be a wow. second. I know I didn't mean to. It was just all of a sudden I was in a game. Uh huh. I'm sorry, but yes. Oh, just doesn't want to play with me. No, it's okay. I was all of a sudden no, I do in a play game. With you. Mm -hmm. Oh, five lands. We're gonna mulligan. Um, we're gonna keep this one and chip a mountain. Um, our opponent's playing Luris, so. More than likely, having double wild slash is going to be really good here. Um, Luris Mountain into Swiss Spear immediately tells our opponent that we're on some kind of burn variant. I mean, I guess it could tell our opponent that we're on, like... I, I don't know. Like, we could be on, like, the Boros Spells deck. Not likely, but we could be. Swiss Spear, sure. So we're going to Wild Slash one of those guys. Um, we're going to go to 19 here. Uh, play Swiss Spear. We're going to Wild Slash their other creature, and we're going to attack for two, put them to 15. Oh, my. Can you turn your bar down, please? Yeah, sorry. Nice. That's okay. Is it really max? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. How did you did you like the build I put up for it or no? Yeah, I do. Um, I've been I used it last game too. Do you I use mean, the the elastic wrap or is it the speed grip that you use? I use the very last one. I use okay. the very last one. I couldn't remember if that was the gun that you. 
did it on and I just didn't have it, or I was yeah, trying to the, the very last one, it gives you so much ADS time and so much resistance, plus the ability to, to go prone while shooting somebody. In my mind, that's pretty indispensable. Not indispensable, but that's pretty... I mean, it's yeah. pretty solid. Pretty strong. The, just the ability to be able to shoot while laying down, like actually being able to do the drop shot, that alone is big for me. Mm -hmm. Along with the flinch resistance and... Um, so depending yeah. on how this game plays out, our opponent's Eidolon might actually be able to win us the game here. We go to 13, then they go to 9, then they go to 7. Then we're going to play a Soul Scar Mage here. Um, I mean, this feels like we're in a pretty good spot here. Bro, 8 Attachment M4, that might be the play too. I, I honestly think 8 Attachment M4 is like insane. Like... When, I st when we started playing, I was running... Oh! Ben typed exclamation point yams. Ben, type exclamation point Ben. Mana confluence in your burn deck. Oh my god. Did Ben type exclamation point yams? Yeah, he did. Point ben. He typed exclamation point yams. So we go to nine here. We need a spell. A land probably... Well... <laughs> Not exactly what I meant. He did it. Yeah, <laughs> bop him. Well, if we do another burn spell there, I think our opponent's Eidolon was going to be able to win us the game. Because we were going to be able to... Um, any burn spell puts them to five or lower, and then they take two and go to three. Our opponent's really trying to like push the tempo here, so... We're going to block Eidolon, take two, go to seven. We're probably going to lose this game. Well, yeah, with that attitude. Uh, it has nothing to do with my attitude. It has everything to do with the fact that our opponent has better cards and more lands Bad than me. Bad attitude. Oh, wow. That sucks. Oh, that must mean they just have it rolled up. They're Boros Charming me. Wow. Double Boros Charming hand. All right, cool. Good job, opponent. Okay, so in this matchup... Did you just get bent? Yeah, I lost. Um, we want Chain to the Rocks. If I type in exclamation point Zach, does it just say get bent, Wolf? No, it no. says uh, that seems a little too cute. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to bring in Chain to the Rocks, Searing Blood, and Rip Apart here. Um, cards that are bad in this matchup include Boros Charm. We should probably change it to get bent, lol. I mean... I can literally change it in like two <laughs> seconds, so. <clears throat> Debating if Rip Apart's better than any of these other spells I have in my deck, and I don't think that it is. So I think we're just going to cut Rip Apart and try it like this. Well, we started off 3-0, and and then we lost to Niv Delight, and now we're down a game to burn. <clears throat> we have no lands, we're going to have to mulligan. Um, this hand's a lot better. We'll keep this and put a Swiss Spear on the bottom. We're going to lead on a clever Lumamancer. Let's see. Exclamation point, Zach. Let's edit that one while we're sitting here. Um... No, why did it go away? God, I hate when it does this garbage. Oh, it's because you, anytime you click out of it, I forget. You can't just, like, be wild with the mouse, which is dumb. Get bent, lol. I wonder if it updates automatically. Yay, it does. Alright, and now it says get bent, lol, when... I gotta make sure if I set mine up like that, it might got to say I'm just better looking than they are. <laughs> we almost <laughs> used that as yours. <laughs> I'm just so much better looking. Like, we thought about using that one. It's one of those where I'm just so much better than they are that I just have to come up with more excuses than the fact that they're just a dumpster fire. Way to happen. I'm just better looking. I'm just smarter. It's just insane. My eyelashes are longer. You won't believe it. <laughs> My eyelashes are longer. Yeah, it, it gets more and more obscene, Zex. Just go with it. All right, uh, man. It'll get worse if you ask me. All right. 
Keep Thank asking you. him. <laughs> Nightbot <laughs> is sentient. Run. Exclamation point, Nightbot. I don't even know what sentient means, Bim. Like, self-aware. Oh. I mean, I'll take your word for it. Ooh, our opponent's playing green. Ooh, is our opponent playing Tark a Tarkus command? It's very interesting <laughs> if they are playing a Tarkus command. God, there are two sentry turrets on this map. Nightbot is love, Nightbot is life. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Have you ever seen that video, Zach? Uh, no, I'm not sure which one you're talking about. But... You should look it up. On stream, by the way, Shrek is love, Shrek is life. Um, this sounds weird. If you could see the smile on my face, you wouldn't look it up on stream. Look it up when you're done. I'll link it to you. Don't worry. <laughs> Eyelash linked is not normally what I hear dudes brag about. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Brandon. I have to agree with you. I don't think I've ever heard anybody brag about their eyelash link. <laughs> Bro, give me a couple minutes. I'll brag about how incredibly big my nutsack is and how small my pecker is. Give me a minute. What the fuck is happening? God almighty. My stream has turned into a madhouse. Today, guys. Well, we're in kind of a rough spot here. Um... Mm. If we if we could draw a third land at any point in time, Carly we'd joined. be rolling. But hmm? did you join another game without inviting me? No, I just finished. <laughs> Jeez Louise! <laughs> did you join I another game without inviting me? Oh! <laughs> I mean, drawing another inspiring advantage is fine, I guess. Like it just sucks because now we can't play our Chain to the Rocks. All right, we need to draw a mountain here so that we can play Chain to the Rocks on our. Um, on their freaking lures they're about to play. Can that be bragged about? <laughs> Alright, they're going to play Lurus into Lava Runner and probably crack in for three here. Or maybe more, depending on what they drew. They might have drawn like a Wild Slash or something. They're going to crack in for four. Mm, it said I couldn't join your party. Yeah, no, I tried to join you because I'm impatient and tired of waiting. Wall? Oh. Your game. Wow, another chain to the rocks. Yeah, some people play extra for that. Oh man, and, like like actually a single mountain game is acting weird. turns this game around. Mine. I need my opponent to brick you. right here. Of course, my opponent but... <laughs> my opponent draws a searing blood. God, go fuck yourself, opponent. Jesus Christ. I can't draw a mountain, and you can't draw anything to gas. Go to one. And we still, uh, yeah, alright. Yeah, 13 cards in, we don't draw a mountain. Alright, well, we went 3-2 and two with the deck. Deck felt really good. I mean, right, like, right, like literally right until the end, huh? when we were drawing really? like garbage. Yeah, so, ready. Um, oh well, good with the bad. Deck's cool. We'll probably play it again sometime soon, honestly. Um, I, I think, I don't know, changing the sideboard feels a little weird. Like, it's like really, why can I hear them? You can hear them because we're in a party together. Like, we're using the Xbox party system right now. And so, like, they're just like, we're all talking in a party. If that's okay with you. Lol. Um, the deck was cool. Um, we're going to take a small break here. Um, and by take a small break, I mean you guys are going to get to listen to Carly and Kyle talk. And then when we come back, um, we're going to oh be boy. playing some Cold War. And then we'll follow that up with some Rocket League later tonight. But uh, thanks for hanging awesome. out tonight, guys. And if you like Cold War, stick around. And if you want some high-octane gameplay, tune into twitch.tv slash the <laughs> <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> But I can't even say that now because I'm not even live right now. I was going to say, I don't think you're streaming right now. No, I'm not. I'm going to whenever Zach comes on. 